All right, so welcome back. Welcome back to episode number four of Making the Brands, brought to you by Bullseye Merch. So, um, yeah, um, the, the Ford Show on... Uh, number four already, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it goes by quick, man. <laughs> it sure does. It sure does on... Uh, on February the second of um, you know twenty twenty two, so on two Tuesday, so that's right, that's mm-hmm. right. Today's that uh, I was uh, I noticed that earlier. I was at a place signing a contract, and um, it had like six pages where I need to keep. I had to put the date, and I was like, oh shit, it's two twenty two twenty two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very, so, you know, it's very special. Like you know, those that follow numerology, those that follow numerology, the numbers have a signification yeah, right for sure. yeah especially like because it I, I don't think that those type of dates happen often right, right? no i think uh, <laughs> yeah it's gonna be a few in we're our not lifetime gonna, we're not gonna be lifetime. around we're not in gonna be around lifetime. when it happens again so it's a very special day yeah um, cool yeah so nice. yeah i mean we had some pretty cool um shows in uh crypto, crypto. yeah Com two arena two yep. two shows two going shows. with the whole two theme yeah there yep. was two shows friday and saturday friday and saturday i mean they were amazing you know yeah like, definitely packed house both mm-hmm. nights both nights both nights were really really exciting so yeah friday was just uh banda messi so yeah yeah actually it was my um it was my first shows of the year that i actually went to so mm-hmm. it was cool. It was cool to be back. You know, it was cool to get experience. I mean, they're in our backyard, so yeah. it's it's um it's always uh, cool to you know, like I say, when you go see a local show, and you know, it happens to be that it's uh, an act that you work with. So yeah, yeah, for sure. And uh, it was it wasn't just any act, you know, Banda <laughs> Messe, you know, back you know back to back shows, which is always good. Like we talked about, um, you know, on the last show, um. It does make it a, a little bit easier on us, you know, not, not to do the, you know, the the counts at the end. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna look at some pictures in, in, yeah. in a few minutes about, you know, the setup, um, you know, w- uh, what we do at the at the venues. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, like I said, yeah, it was uh, it was it was definitely um, cool to be there. I mean, it has been. It was at the Staples. Now it's the Crypto.com Arena, and uh, I remember we were there two years ago. We were two, yeah. there two years ago for the same weekend. It was mm-hmm. uh, last time we were there was actually on Valentine's Day weekend. But mm-hmm. because of the way that the holiday fell on during the week this year, they moved it to this week. But it was pretty much the same concept. So it had been two years. Um, I mean, it's staples, man. What can you say? It's always like if you're in L.A., that's probably like the, the, the best spot that you yeah, could yeah, be at right there. You yeah, know? yeah, for sure. It's so, one of the best venues in, in downtown LA, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, I mean, um, we're going to take a look at some pictures, um, you know, of, of the of the stands. You know, we yeah, have, uh, yeah, we have like, four stands. We can go into, like, you know, all the details. Yeah, so like I said, um, Adam was, our, our guy Adam was there in charge of the shows this, uh, this last weekend. And we were just kind of there to, you know, just... Uh, talk to the crew say what's up i mean we haven't seen them i haven't seen them since last year yeah you know so it was a good opportunity to just you know just catch up yeah catch up with everybody man see how everybody's going and at the same time you know be there for the be there for the banda and stuff so adam was there he we had a total of uh four booths and um, i know we mentioned in the past that a big uh, a big thing about the booths is the display Mm -hmm. how the display comes about and um Right now, we're going to show a picture of the final display that we ended up going with for the Friday and Saturday for Friday the Crypto.com. So, mm-hmm. Manny, I don't know if you could uh, put that on the uh, on the screen. Okay, cool. All right. So, this is the, uh, the final layout that we went with. And uh, we ended up having four of these. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, originally, uh, the items were placed completely like in a different order right yeah Yeah. they were completely Mm -hmm. in different order and then adam was texting us pictures Mm -hmm. and you know we ended up going up to the stage to kind of see them ourselves Mm -hmm. and uh at first you know we didn't like them because see originally like uh i don't know if you can see from back there but you see how on the top row there's a jacket jacket. and a hoodie Mm -hmm. okay so there you go if you can zoom perfect perfect manny thanks um so there's a hoodie and a jacket and then the back of the jacket. Yeah. So that's the top the top level. On the second level, you have the... Uh, from the, left to right. From left to right, correct, is the long sleeve, which is the back, 
mm-hmm. the back long sleeve and then the back front long sleeve. Mm-hmm. And then we had two women items, where, which were the V-necks. Right. Those and didn't have bags. So those didn't only, have bags. It was bags only the co- front display. Correct. Right? Correct, yeah. Benny. Um, so we have the two v- V-necks next to each other. Right. Just fronts only, like you mentioned. And then we have the short sleeve front and back as well. Um, uh, show, showcasing, like I said, both front and back. Now, and then in the bottom, the hats, the hat. uh, mm-hmm. which were two hats that we had for this show. Mm-hmm. And then the, uh, just like I said, the bottom is just inventory and so yeah. forth that the, that the venue uh, just has ready. So like They're that, they can, go, right? yep, when they ask you for a small, they just know yeah, so what then size. That way people don't have to wait, like, you know, so it's, it's already folded and Exactly. They try mm-hmm. to make it as efficient and as quick as possible. So right. like when the lines get long, mm-hmm. they can have the product ready to go to make it fast. So, yeah. So you were mentioning that it was, you know, in a different um, uh, position, positioning, right? Of, uh, yeah. of the, uh, how were they? Uh, I didn't, I honestly, I didn't see the first pictures. So, I mean, it's like when they send it to me, I kind of like, I see, I kind of see the like, like there, something's the improvement, the, something's yeah, the improvement something's it's because yeah. it just doesn't flow. Yeah. It doesn't flow. And like I tell mm-hmm. you, the point is for somebody to be able to see, like a fan to be able to see it and be like, okay, cool. That's the long sleeve. Right. That's the short sleeve. The middle ones, I mean, well, yeah. they're pretty obvious that those are women designs because yeah. they're a lot smaller. They're V-necks, the, just the design behind mm-hmm. them and so forth. So it's a lot clearer this in this way. The, the Originally, um, the first setup, it was like, it was just the, uh, the front of the long sleeve and then a V-neck. And then it was like a short sleeve mm-hmm. and then the back of the, the back of the uh, short sleeve. So... It, it wasn't was, visually appealing. It wasn't what, because, was? like I said, like sometimes fans they see a shirt. I mean, we know the product, right? Uh, the venue might know the product, but yeah. the fan doesn't. Yeah. So, like the first time they're seeing it, so yeah, they don't, they don't, they exactly, don't exactly. So, like when we saw it the first time, they're like, "Oh well, you know, the fan will know that they have a back because their short sleeve has a back," and we're like, mm, "Well, no, no, they, <laughs> no, 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 they won't because they've never seen the product right, before." Right. So it's important that we ha- that we showcase the front and the back for each product mm-hmm. if it has a back. Right. Like I said, going back to the long sleeve, originally it was just the front. Mm-hmm. And you didn't know that it had a back. So we're like, nah, let's add the back to it so like that they can know. And then I'll, let's also display both sleeves. Sometimes at certain um, at certain venues, for some reason, I don't know why, but they'll they hide put them behind there, right? Yeah, yeah. I've seen I, it. I've I don't seen know why they too, do yeah. that. Which we have to come back and be mm-hmm. like, hey, no, we want you to be able to see that there's a that print on long, those sleeves. That is long, yeah, especially that, when it has a print. Exactly. Yeah. And in this case, as you can see, that long sleeve has um, t- uh, prints on both ends, right. both, on both sides. Mm-hmm. So, like I said, this made it a lot clearer. And then the top. It kind of had like our like our fleece, like our hoodie, so it separates it from the shirts. Right. So from the left, you can see that it was just a hoodie standalone, mm-hmm. um, just a, a logo based with no uh, dates on the back, which is what you know some people want. Like like I said, there's options. Yeah. Some people want um, the dates and a little bit more loud and you know. Mm-hmm more information for both front and back and then there's some that are fans but they want a little bit more basic more right. simple right yeah so we decided to just do a hoodie with the front and uh the jacket next to it which has uh which is a cool it's a cool bomb yeah, it's a, it it's a li- yeah the bomber like like light bomber jacket. Light, mm-hmm. lightweight bomber jacket that has just a, their logo on the front mm-hmm. and then on the back it just has um the name of the tour their logo and like a little design mm-hmm. with the with the back of it which a lot of people ended up liking so forth so um like i said this is the display that we ended up going with and we ended up um because like I was mentioning to you earlier, there uh, Adam has set up four locations. Mm-hmm. So there's a crew that uh, that is setting up each booth, right? So at first, each four booths were set up different in each oh, location. Oh, so they look totally different. Like each a totally one different that we setup. were going to right. was different. But mm-hmm. after reviewing the four, we're like, mm-hmm. no, you know what? Just uh, copy Mm-hmm. and paste exactly. this one man right. yeah. yeah so this we one, did this works this yes works this is what exactly. we want right exactly mm-hmm. so um all it was was getting getting the mannequins and moving them and repositioning right. them to yeah. the, but um at the end all four booths mm-hmm. ended up looking like this and this is the one that we wanted to go with and uh like i said this is the one the best one 
for this particular scenario. Right. And you know, yeah, now the, all those small details is what what makes a big difference, right? It makes a I believe it makes a huge difference because like I said, we want to make it easy. We want to make mm-hmm. it clear. We want to make it a um uh, appealing to the eye. Right. We want to make it appealing to the eye and um every venue is different. So there's different um backgrounds, there's different setups. Yeah. So like I said, there's some that don't have the shelves like that. Mm-hmm. They don't have this. And there's some, some that don't just, have mannequins as well, no, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's a that's a good point. Yeah. So like I said, every every single one is uh every single venue is different. Some yeah. have grids, like you said, mm-hmm. some don't have mannequins. So it's important that we're keeping an eye mm-hmm. to make sure that it's uh that it's visually appealing. Mm-hmm. And like I said, there's been times where the the the, the venue sets it up a different way mm-hmm. and we have to redo the whole thing because like I said, I mean, everybody has you know different their own ideas. Their, their, own their own ideas, ideas yes. Right. But but for this market, like I mm-hmm. said, uh this genre, mm-hmm. um we have to we have to you know cater to the fan as much as possible to make sure like i said it's being displayed accordingly you know yeah we want to represent the brand to make sure that it looks it just looks good you know like you're passing by like you know that it looks professional yeah. it looks good yeah i mean i've seen some 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 other mm. <laughs> parts yeah. where it doesn't look it does it doesn't look <laughs> right, visually appealing right. man it just looks like you know you know, it's, it's through there. <laughs> sad to say, man, but it is like yeah. a freaking swap meet yeah, or something, yeah, you know, yeah, and we're not we're does. not trying to go for that. Right. And, uh, so another thing that you guys can possibly notice is um, I don't know if you could zoom in a little bit more, Manny. You'll see. You, I, I just I wasn't even going to talk about that. But now that we're talking about the rest of the stuff, I, I actually want to I, I didn't realize we we're going to mention this. But so this is Staples Center, uh, Crypto.com mm-hmm. Arena. Um, it's, 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 it's known that that place is not, I want to say, how can I say it? It's not items. There are not cheap, you know, right. You for, can, for other artists for exactly, right. exactly. Mm-hmm. And it's like, it's like, you wouldn't, you wouldn't think you're going to like a sold out freaking show at the, at the Staples Center. You'd be like, mm-hmm. I think we have it in our head because I've seen it. Mm-hmm. I've seen it several times to go see other artists and mm-hmm. You don't see a shirt less than forty five dollars. No, that's for sure. Yeah. yeah, just for a regular, right, right, a regular print. Nothing in the back. Just mm-hmm. you know, just a simple, just their name or their logo, whatever. Mm-hmm. If you want front and back, then it's fifty five dollars. Right, and then a hoodie is like eighty dollars. Yeah, and so forth. And the prices, and as you can see, um, our shirts. These are the prices that we have. We'll start at the top. As you can see, the hoodie. It's um, it's fifty bucks. Which is which is which is unheard of, <laughs> right? At a at a location like this, yeah, that's for sure. Especially for the quality, like the quality and the and and the material that we use. For example, um, in that particular one, you can't see it from here, but that one has a gold uh, metallic, metallic print. red, yeah, a gold metallic, it a little bit shiny, exactly, it stands exactly. Out. It's, it's it's um. It's a it's a like a treatment, like a treatment that gi- that gives it a little bit more than just a regular print. Mm-hmm. I mean, you have it for fifty bucks, which, like I said, it's funny because you know sometimes the venue asks us, like, I think <laughs> it's a typo, right? It's a typo, it's right? Like because we don't usually sell hoodies right. like this for fifty bucks, right. like so we always I like to ask, like, what do you suggest? Mm-hmm. And they're like, well, we usually sell them for like seventy five, eighty bucks, right? And I'm like, I, I get it, I, I get it, and and trust mm-hmm. me, we would love to yeah, sell them oh, at seventy five, yeah. eighty. I mean, yeah. who doesn't? Who right. doesn't? But at the same time, we gotta recognize who our who our target market we is. We understand you know? their market. We understand our market and we also make it want to make it feasible. Yeah. So although our profit margin is 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 minimal, but we still want to make it accessible to mm. to, to everybody, right. you know? So let's say you let's say you're there with uh, for example, let's say you're there with your you, your wife, maybe like your kid or mm. you know, your a group of a friends, friend, a group yeah. of friends and you know, like, hey, let me get a let me get a couple of products for my 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 family. I mean, fifty times, you know, like let's say there's six people, that's three hundred dollars. <laughs> right, Anywhere yeah. you put it, right, it's three hundred dollars, yeah. and it's, I would say, three hundred is a lot better than than, than five fifty or six hundred. You know, <laughs> yeah. so right. so you know, like I said, we we do try to make it feasible. Like I said, we have the long sleeve shirt. You can zoom out a little bit, Manny. A little bit, uh, that long sleeve shirt that has front. Multicolor front, multicolor back, 
multicolor sleeves. sleeves. Both sleeves. Both sleeves. Both sleeves for forty five dollars. I mean, that's another right. thing that's unheard of for mm -hmm. for uh, for uh, for a location of that sort. It's, right. I mean, it's downtown L A. Yeah. Everything is a little bit pricier there. You know, the yeah. drinks are more expensive. Tickets are more expensive. It's just known that it's pricier. However. We keep the uh, we keep the prices. I want to say as reasonable mm -hmm. as possible, right. and offer the product as good as possible mm -hmm. for for like I said for a, for a decent price. Um, and then another thing that you don't really see is like you don't really see shirts for thirty bucks. I think the right. minimum you'll probably see is like thirty five dollars. Right. You know, especially for a multicolor print or mm -hmm. whatever. You know, so the two V necks are you know they're thirty dollars each and and. To bring that up, actually, the only reason they used to, I don't remember that we used to sell our stuff for 25 bucks, right? $25. Mm -hmm. it, we barely raised our prices, and um, you know, and that's only because we had no choice. Yeah, we tried yeah, everything's to, going up. <laughs> Everything we, tr we, we try to keep, uh, we were trying to keep our prices for as long as possible for $25, but right. I mean, our cost has mm -hmm. gone up, I want to say, um. This is the the fifth price increase that we've had in the last um, fourteen months. So right. I mean, uh, it's it's like I said, increase it was, in, in cost, in right? cost, yeah. in cost. You know the 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 to uh, you know, to the, make it everything every, everything has gone up. The garment, like I said, the, the, print. the garment, the garment. Um, like I said, it's, we've had five pr price increases in the last uh, you know less than less than eighteen months. Wow, you know, that's crazy. And. Um, so, you know, we, we, we kind of got in a position where we're like, man, we, we don't know what to do. Like, man, we, we're trying to make it, you know, we're trying to keep that price. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, our cost keeps going up. Right. So, you know, all it's got to make sense for it, everyone. It's got to make sense for everybody. But I think $30 is still, yeah, it's a, still a good deal. Uh, it's still a good yeah. deal. It's still a good deal. Like I said, I mean, like I said, for the type of venue that it is. Mm -hmm. And the location that it's at, right? I mean, like I said, the venue is always surprised. Like, man, dude, that's that's a that's a reasonable price for right. this place. We don't really right. sell those type of items, yeah, for this, this place. Yeah, like and this. you see other items that maybe the quality is not so great, and the price is still higher, way higher, right? Yeah, way higher. Yeah. So, so like I said, it's uh, you know, like I said, you have a fifty dollar product, a forty five dollar mm -hmm. product, a thirty dollar product, and then uh, if you zoom out a little bit more money, uh. The one on the right is, um, which is the tour you know, shirt. Yeah, it's the tour shirt. Like I said, it's the full color front, full color back. That's thirty five dollars, man. So uh, it's it's a it's a like I said, it's a relatively good deal for the type of product that you're gonna get as well. Right. So um, these are all things that we uh, we take into consideration when we develop the product when we know we're gonna uh, where we're gonna be at mm -hmm. and it's all part of the the process the of mm -hmm. of uh of uh knowing who our target is which is right. our which is part of what we do you know it's bullseye you know we always hit our mm -hmm. target yeah we always hit our target so um yeah so that was the you can zoom out man you said you can see the whole thing again um so yeah that was those were the displays and like I said, we have four of those. And like I said, I mean, we got a, uh, we were there with the, um, well, Adam, Adam is there, uh, you know, making sure that he, like I said, he's taking pictures, he's talking to people, he's interacting, right. he's uh, just, just observing what the fans are doing. Yeah. Like I said, I like to pass by as well too, just to kind of see how everything is going and mm -hmm. so forth. I know we went and we took a couple of laps yeah. and we see, you know, like I said, hey, you know, um, in this particular case, this last weekend, it was, I want to say it was a, um, it was all pretty even in this particular mm -hmm. one, you know, right. like it wasn't like one really outdid the other or mm -hmm. one. It was like, a, as a general, I think they all relatively did performed well. They are performed well. There's, there's other shows where uh, one. It's a bestseller. Yeah. Right. And we know that. Yeah. And we know that. We're mm -hmm. like, and that's the one that we usually um, end up producing more of. Right. Right. But in this particular case, like they all went, um, they all went pretty well. The hats did well. I think we only had one left, yeah. which is cool, mm -hmm. which is cool. So, I mean, that was that. Um, on top of that, I mean, we we got to like I said, hang out, check out a show, <laughs> really good show, a really good show. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. Uh, which, which you know, like I said, we were there. Uh, it was there Friday and Saturday. Mm -hmm. Uh, which one was your favorite one, man? Because <laughs> you were it's having, hard. we were all having fun. Uh, I think you had more. I think you had more fun well, than Friday, anybody. Friday, I did have a lot of fun. Yeah. I mean, you know, 
you know, part of the perks is to, like you said, we catch up with everyone we hadn't seen. You know, most of the guys from the banda, you know, um, saludo para los, ahí para el compa, you know, Alan y uh, Walo. You know, we hadn't seen them in a while. Yeah. We got to see them the first night, um, you know, so they could check out the merch. I mean, they love it too, you know, when they yeah. see it, they're like, man. The, oh, yeah, we got, to, we, we got to give, uh, we got to give them the jackets. We got to give right. management some of the jackets as right. well too. You know, I, knew, I know you gave a shout out to, uh, to, to the guys, but, you know, I want to give a shout out to our boy. Come on, man. Remember, he was like, "Hey, I saw you guys." That was like, I thought that was really cool. Oh, or Bo, uh, Jones? Yeah. Oh yeah. Shout bro. out to Jones, Jones, one of our listeners. <laughs> Jones in the house, bro. Hey, I know. I, I was yeah. talking to Jones, uh, yeah. and Jones is part of the production, production crew, crew, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had seen him. Um, I think we were in the back by the yeah. elevator, and I think we were. I was already leaving the show, mm -hmm. and I'm like, "Hey, <laughs> hey, Jones, I'm all right, man. I'll see you later." Whatever. He's yeah. like. I'll be, I'll be, I watched the show that you guys are doing. <laughs> I thought that was cool. Yeah, I thought that, that was, was really cool. cool. I got to hook up right, my boy. Right. I got to hook him up with right, something, right, man. Right. But, uh, <laughs> hey, Jones, what's up, bro? Thanks, man. So there's your shout out. There you go. There's your shout out, bro. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, it, it, was a, it was a really good night, you know. Yeah. That, we started off by saying hello to everyone, catching up, um, you know. Um, yeah, and you know, yeah. at the end of the night, you know, that, that was, you know, a little bit different. Well, we got <laughs> well in this particular case, I get it because... Um, we weren't working the show right. so i mean yeah you know i i know i know you had you were having acting you were having more fun than all of us <laughs> yeah i i didn't i didn't i didn't i didn't really i was on the, i was on the sober tip yeah. this weekend man <laughs> team, i had a hashtag team sober <laughs> yeah i had a um i had a few other commitments that i had to do uh yeah. saturday and sunday so yeah. i didn't so. i know you didn't <laughs> i know you didn't no, so i had a few drinks with uh, so, and so, and, and yeah. you know, the rest of the guys from the band yeah so cool. i think uh but saturday i did have a beer but it was a special beer we'll we'll jump into that a little <laughs> bit in a little bit later but yeah. um so like i said which one was your favorite show oh man they were both great um you know uh, it's hard it's hard it's like i don't, I don't think know. you remember well, okay never mind bro you don't know how you're talking about <laughs> from what i can remember they yeah. were both really good i think you're gonna have to stick to saturday because friday i don't think you remember bro uh, yeah yeah i mean we'll go into the details of each show um you know the first the first uh show was you know just banda i said performing which they always do great you know they they have a brand new production. You know, the fans have gone to the past shows, like, you know, the lighting, the screens, everything's different. Yeah. Totally different. And, yeah. And they have three different setups uh, of music. So, I mean, we're not going to give you all the details. So when you go to a show, you know, you experience it uh, for yourself. But, you know, they, they, they have a really long range of, uh, of, uh, of music. You yeah. Know? Like the type of music that they're playing. And I think they're. They're stepping up their game, and you know it's one of the best shows um, uh, out there. I definitely agree um, that this uh, this weekend I was I was talking to Adam about it as well too. Like I said, I mean, I mean, dude, when you're sober, you get to see a lot. Of, <laughs> you, get, you get to you get to observe a lot more, man. I get to see something. Yeah, and, and um, no, we were talking on how on how how. how fun of a show it was this weekend man yeah, sure um was. like i said you you mentioned friday friday was friday was a really cool show i mm -hmm. mean sold out show i mean you know it was a packed house yeah. um a lot of good energy like the, yeah. the, the people that were there they were there to party you know yeah. they were there to have a good time friday was good but i mean but okay so let's 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 jump out to saturday <laughs> now let's jump out to saturday <laughs> saturday was our, our night two night yeah. two and um um, dude, that was with that, it was with Snoop. Dogg. Oh, come on! It was with Snoop, Snoop Dogg, man. They did Snoopadelic. Yeah, yeah, it was fun. Definitely so, fun. so I think the energy for night two was a little bit different. For sure. You know, I mean, for like sure. I said, night one was fuck. If yeah. you went to night one, it was yeah. badass. You know, it was yeah. badass. But night two yeah. was like fuck. I I thought it was like <laughs> man. That, that I mean, the energy was good, yeah, bro. Yeah. I, like, think, I think you got a little a little footage, right? Yeah, I got yeah, a little footage. I got a little footage Manny. when when uh, when Snoop jumped on, man. Yeah. Manny, if you could uh, if you could throw that on there, man. That was uh, this is when Snoop jumped on uh, the uh, like, there it is. Like this was. I thought this was badass. Look at that. Snoop and Delhi. Yeah. Yeah, so the crowd was really into it. Yeah. I mean, well, you know, I mean, man, he, when he, he came on, when he came on, I mean, it was just yeah. badass, you yeah. know? So, 
I want to say, like I said, both nights were good, but night two was like, yeah, probably no, no, my, it, was, it, was, my, it was really yeah. good, really good, really intense, a lot of good energy, you know, in the air. Yeah, it um, was good. I think know. night two was my favorite. I mean, we like I said, we got to run into some people that we knew as well. Yeah, a lot of people. Yeah, a like lot I of mean, media it's, as well. it's yeah. LA, bro. It's yeah, LA, yeah. so like the, the stars yeah. come out, man. Right? Yeah, so, for sure. For a sure. lot of people, a lot of, a lot of people were there. Like I said, Snoop brings his own crowd, his mm-hmm. own energy. Yep. And the combination of both uh, both cultures makes it a great show. Yeah, you know? for sure. For so, sure. um, another one of my highlights for Saturday night. Like I said, we talked about, you know, Banda MS has their show, right? Yeah. Banda MS has their show. And then, uh, like I said, they they brought up, I mean, they started, actually, they started with Snoop Dogg, mm-hmm. right? That's how yeah. the, the concert starts. Yep. So the concert starts with Snoop Dogg like DJing. DJing. Yeah, DJing. Yeah, like he DJs. 15, 20 minutes, yeah. Yeah. And like, like, like I said, he DJs like a mm-hmm. combination of like hip hop mm-hmm. with corridos, yep. with just a, just a variety of songs yep. and so forth. Mm-hmm. And then once he's done with his set, um... Like, like the, like they take like a little break, right? Mm-hmm. Like a little intermission. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then Banda MS comes, comes on, out. right? Right. Yep. Banda MS comes on and they play their, their a song. few songs yeah. and then they perform together, together. with Snoop, yep. right? Yeah. So yeah. it's yeah. like, uh, it's like, a, fuck, it's a, it's a show. Bro. Yeah. No, for sure. For sure. It's from, a show. From like, start in, from you're start like, wait, in. what's yeah. going on? Yep. What's going on? Like, yeah. Hey, like, you know, you're. You know, you're, you're first you hear this with DJ and he's yeah. like, you know, you're like, well, all right, cool. That's badass, you know? <laughs> and it's, everybody knows who Snoop Dogg right, is, Right, yeah, of man. course. No, he's, he's universal. Everybody, yeah, he's universal, everybody, everybody, knows. So, everybody knows. So, so, you know, like you're experiencing that. You're like, oh shit, that was bad. Like yeah. it's in a little adrenaline rush, right? Right, right. And then they shut it down. <laughs> Take a little break. Take a little break. Take a little break. Take a little break. Relax, break. Go a little break. <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah. You know, put the weed away, you know. Yeah. <laughs> put the weed away. <laughs> All right. And then Banda MS starts and they're performing. You know, they start off strong with some good songs or whatever. Yeah. And then a few songs later, they they have uh, they they perform together, which yeah. gets the crowd going yeah. again. Que maldición! Yeah, que maldición! They're they're hit. hit. They're yeah. hit. Man, I hope they do another one together. I know, right? Bro. Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. Yeah. If they did. I mean, and yeah, it was, it was a great show. I mean, yeah. Snoop. Yeah, Snoop is just something Snoop is Snoop, man. Snoop, Snoop is Snoop, man. Like Snoop you know, is, yeah. he, he paid tribute to um, you know, Rest Chente. in Peace, uh, Chente. You know, oh, that, that was awesome. He I think I got a video flowers. of that one too, but yeah. I, I I didn't send it to Manny. But uh, yeah, I got a yeah, nice little video. He threw flowers to to the ladies out there. You know, Snoop being Snoop. He plays it. He plays it. He plays the part, man. Yeah, he does so it he, good. He sure knows how to uh, please the crowd. So. Yeah. So um, so like I said, that was going on and. You know, sometimes during the the concerts, because I guess because we've seen them so many times, we'll, we'll mm-hmm. hang out in the back, you know, like right. you know, somewhere, uh, mm-hmm. and which we did for a little while, but then we're like, you know what, let's let's let's, let's, let's go back, let's go to the backstage, <laughs> let's go backstage and watch yeah. it from the from the side a little right, bit, you right. know, mm-hmm. and um, so we went, and what's cool, what was really cool about this one is, like I said, man, you have. Like I said, the, the Snoop, the Banda MS, and the Snoop again. Mm-hmm. But the fact that they also incorporate the mariachi mm-hmm. and like, yeah. man, they got they had right. los they had los dos canales los dos right carnales. Los, like, los, I dos, mean, los dos de la S. Los dos de la I'm sorry, los dos de la S. <laughs> los dos de la S. <laughs> yeah, los dos de la S. Also, uh, Eden Muñoz. Ex, oh, I didn't do it. Eden Muñoz, bro. Like, come yeah, on, bro. No, it was yeah. just like a, mm-hmm. it was just a full like mm-hmm. a full freaking show. Yeah. So. Well, we were back there, and uh, yeah, los dos de la S were back there. We're all, hey, what's up? Whatever, what's going on? But uh, mm-hmm. sure enough, in the corner of our <laughs> eye, in the corner of our eye, the fucking los bookies we, were there, we bro. We saw icons, bro. Yeah. bro. As soon as you see them, you're like, wait, like, oh, what's up? What's up? Right. Yeah. 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 I mean, you see, um, you know, uh, Roberto Guadarrama with his, you know. His, yeah, his it's classic. It's last year. Classic uh, curly hair. You can't miss it, bro. Yeah, you know Chivo, what I mean? bro. And Chivo was like, yeah. bro. Like, well, to, to yeah. clarify, it was members from Los Bukis. Right, members. Those, not, those, not everyone, not everyone, everyone there, but, but yeah. But, you know, I mean, I would say, yeah, you know. Everyone's iconic from from um, from those bookies, but, it, you know, it's great to see them. So, any, yeah, I recall, I'm like, dude. What's let's man, let's go chill with these right, bro. What's yeah, up? You know, yeah, like, yeah. So yeah, sure enough, man. We started talking and um, it's a small world because actually my uncle knows El Chivo. Yeah, yeah. He sure. knows El Chivo like yeah. pretty pretty well. Mm-hmm. So I mean that's our connection right there. Right. But um anyways, we were talking, we're like, hey man. Mm-hmm. I see that your guys' drinks are kind of low. <laughs> <laughs> you guys want you guys gonna, gonna get another round or what? Yeah, yeah. And they're like, yeah, fuck it, let's let's do yeah. it. So I'm like, all right, cool. Yeah. I'm like, I'm not I wasn't gonna drink, but if I'm gonna drink, yeah. I'm gonna have a drink no, with these for guys. Sure that, that's one of those moments in life when you're like kinda like walking on air. I did that that's how I felt. Like, you know, when we got the drinks and you know, we asked them first we asked them, you know, we didn't just bring it to them, hey, you know, 
Yeah, what do you want? What do you guys want? They're like, hey, happy to be. They wanted some wine. We're like, let's do something. Let's do it. Some uh, some red wine. So I was like, it's like walking on air, bro. We were bringing the drinks. It was like it was like a dream come true, bro. Just to hang out with them, you know. It was was pretty cool. Yeah, it was cool. Like I said, uh, um, they're they're definitely an iconic band and it was it was cool to see them there man yeah it was very cool humble to, very yeah. humble no know, yeah they're, they they're talking, super chill super talking chill. to everyone taking pictures with everyone yeah and, you know, super chill just like yeah. yeah so like i said we got to share a, a good little moment had to got to experience a drink with them and um i mean share like a few words yeah, 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 yeah you know sure. share some words um it turns out that we're gonna end up like I said, we're, we're we're looking to do something con el con el chivo, like I said, because of the relationship that he has with yeah. my uncle. So yeah. I'm looking forward to uh, to continuing that conversation, and hopefully he's a guest right here as yeah, well too, man. I know, right? Ya lo tenemos, All of them, todos. Ya lo, ya lo tenemos a palabrado, but we'll, 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 you know we'll, we'll yeah, give we'll, you a surprise. We'll start when, one when, step at yeah, a time. Yeah, we'll so, start one step so at a time. Definitely, and there's a really good story there. You know, there um, is. We'll there. get into it. Uh, you know, in that episode. Um, yeah. You know, we have. Yeah. Uh, a very deep connection with the Chivo. So, yes, you know, yes, yes. And yeah. and like I said, uh, they just super humble cats, man. And like, like I said, it was just a, a fun experience. And I think that's what uh, made this uh, Saturday um, so, like, special, right? fun, man. Yeah. Fun. Because like I said, we just it was just a combination. Yeah, just... And it and yeah. it and it went it went on for a while, huh? Oh, yeah, they did. Yeah, like yeah. the crowd was like, nah, nah, keep going. Keep going. They played they played over two hours, huh? Yeah. Like, oh yeah. What was Absolutely. it like two and a half I hours? Think it was or, just about two and a half. Yeah, and it was cool because you know, being that we're in LA, man. Yeah. Alan and Walla put mm-hmm. the uh, put oh, the, the, put the, the, jerseys. the Laker jerseys on. The Laker yeah, that jerseys. Was, that was bad. Yeah, the, 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 the crowd went wild, right? Yeah, there, they played the like, Laker. Yeah. They they put on the the Laker jerseys and they were both rocking them and singing their songs at the end. So then they finished with the mariachi. So it was just yeah. Fun. We also ha- actually we also have a video of uh, you know when we when we brought the drinks to the to oh the we have, we yeah have that's, it right, that's right that's right Manny if uh, we could Manny show that yeah. you know, right, this is this yeah. is this is Benny's highlight of, <laughs> M- Benny's highlight of, uh, <laughs> highlight <laughs> so that's when uh, we have our, our our paparazzi camera guy <laughs> <laughs> right? that's it's the cheapo you know? the Adam had his camera on him he's like oh. They got curly hair right there. What's up? <laughs> Icons, bro. Icons, man. All right, cool. All right. Yeah, so that was that was good. Exchanging a few words and uh, you know they're like we said they're super humble. They're like they love taking yeah. care of the the fans, taking pictures. Yeah. I think you know. Yeah. Really cool people. Cool. So yeah, I mean, so that was the uh, the two shows. Yeah. That was the two shows. Um, we uh like i said we 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 um we wrapped everything up and and uh we uh we're getting ready now for well, i think we have a few weeks off right yeah a few um, weeks off uh, i think about three weeks and then until um the next show is uh i want to say bakersfield yeah, yeah. which is which mm-hmm. is still considered local to us yeah local to us and uh yeah speaking of that man um I don't know. If, did we mention it the last time? No, no. Actually, we haven't because we just found out. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, what, what, something was missing at the show this weekend, man. Oh, really? What was yeah, it? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> what, what? I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. The so the road cases were not. <laughs> oh man. So yeah. So I, like I said, these are all Just little things. Little things that that, that <laughs> happen, man. Like yeah, I said, yeah. we. Uh, so we work with a production cr- with a production crew that's in based out of Texas, right? Yeah. They um we have these uh, our road cases, which uh, where we put our merch inside, we mm. seal them, you know, and they it's pre- they're pretty much secure, and those are the ones that travel from on the trailer from one show to the other. Yeah. So being that it was L.A., we're like, you know what, um, let's let's have them bring our road cases, and we get to restock in LA, mm-hmm. you know, pretty much fill up the crates so like that they can be ready for the right. following tour. Well, sure enough, we get there on Friday and, <laughs> and you know, I, I, Cesar, he's like, hey, what's up, bro? I'm like, hey, come that way. <laughs> he's like, hey, wait, the thing... The tengo malas noticias, ooh. I'm like, ooh, bro, I'm off. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> ¿Qué hizo el Benny, <laughs> He's like, no, nah, no. Nah. And he's like, hey, bro, creo que se, se les olvidó la los right. I was like, ooh, like, okay. man. I'm like, bro. Luckily, like, this is this this is actually a very big deal. But because of the way that it played out, right. it wasn't a big deal at all. 
because being that our next show is in Bakersfield, mm -hmm. um, it's considered a local it's show as well, local. and there's yeah. nothing in between. Right. So we didn't have the road cases there and the boxes and the, the road cases that we took there, we were able to sell that product. So we didn't have any like leftover boxes that weren't that needed to go in the trailer and right. so forth. So mm -hmm. it's it wasn't a it could have been a big deal yeah, if we had if the tour was going. Right, right. But it was God, a show that God's always on our side, yeah, man. No, so sure, he's like, sure. you know what? Let me yeah. uh let me let, 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 like I said, let me just, you know, mess with these guys a little <laughs> bit, man. Yeah. But um yeah, those road cases, you know, we'll we'll make sure to that they'll be at the Bakersfield. You know, you guys will probably drive to Bakersfield and that's when you'll do the whole um uh the invent like restocking all the inventory yeah. and so forth. And then from there the show go the 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 tour will actually continue and yeah. then everything will be yeah, back after to that there's not there's not a lot of breaks in between. Yeah, there's not there's not a lot of local breaks mm -hmm. neither, you know. Like I said, mm -hmm. this is beneficial to us because we're in LA. Yeah. So um but yeah. That was it. Like I said, the merch went, the merch did well this weekend. I mean, we got a lot of positive feedback. Mm -hmm. Fans like that. I seen uh, I seen a lot of people rocking the hoodies, the the jackets. Yeah. Like I said, the shirts. I mean, we have um, you know pictures of the fans wearing them. Those are mm -hmm. on our Instagram. Um, yep. Manny, if you can put a link of the our Instagram right here. So so if you happen to be one of those people that uh, we took pictures of, you guys can check out your pictures right there. Yeah, no. If we didn't take a picture, um, you know, tag is on it and we'll definitely repost it on our stories. Yeah, 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 definitely for sure, man. So, so yeah, that was the, uh, that was our weekend. <laughs> yeah. That was I'm, our weekend. Well, Adam's not here today. I know Adam is not here today. <laughs> but I, he had a really good story, you know, like, you know, last time he came, you know, he told us what his favorite part of like being on tour is and, uh, and you know it's it's the food yeah you know that's that's another little um little perk that you know it's pretty cool it, it, it's funny that you mentioned the food though because um it happened to be that out of all weekends this weekend uh i i uh, i was with him on fr well, on friday and saturday um and um He's like, hey, bro, I, I decided to start a diet, bro. <laughs> <laughs> a diet, okay. On, on Friday oh, or Saturday. Wow. okay. So, so, but it was a special diet, bro. Mm -hmm. It was, um. Was it seafood? Uh, <laughs> no? Nah, Like nah. he sees food and he eats yeah, it? Yeah, for real, no? man, because I'm like, because, <laughs> um, so there's like a, there's, there's a catering and they have all kinds of, so I guess he was just eliminating like rice and pasta. Oh, okay. Carbs? No carbs? Uh, yeah, I yeah, yeah, carbs, yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah, the rice and pasta. But it's funny because he made up with it with everything else. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, His right, plate was like this big, bro. What's up now eating this? I'm right, not making that, this. We have, we have a little video, actually. Uh, oh, uh, do, do we? Do, do yeah, we, have yeah, a, we have a little video. I, I, I didn't see the like video. going through, you know, the, the whole buffet. All right, let's see. Up there. Hey, oh. <laughs> uh, we can center it a little bigger. That'd be great. That's funny. Actually, no, this this video is of the VIP lounge, though. Not at the... Uh, yeah, because I can see that's... <laughs> They're boosting <laughs> Fucking man. That's hilarious. <laughs> well, no, yeah, that's funny though. This is at the VIP lounge. Uh -huh. After he, uh, oh yeah, yeah. This is after he had ate, bro. He already had ate like two <laughs> plates prior to that, bro. So th those are just like that was extra, bro. We should have got, a, you know, hey, what? he's a growing boy. He's working out, so he's gonna we, burn all. We those We should have got a video of him at the actual <laughs> at the actual catering yeah. room where he where he had a plate like a mountain, oh, bro. Man, that was funny. This was already like his fifth plate, yeah, man. But. uh Anyways, yeah, that mm -hmm. was uh, that was a weekend, and like I said, it was it was it was it was fun times, man. And um, like I said, I'm, I'm excited, man. It's it, I feel like you know I have been a while. You know, mm -hmm. it's February 2022. Um, uh, I believe the last show we had were, were our last show that we did with MSA was um, November, 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 November. Yeah, then so then a few months. Started, yeah. There was a show last week in. Uh, mm -hmm uh edinburgh, edinburgh but we, yeah. we 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 didn't go to that uh yeah. somebody else i mean one of our guys did it but uh our our last show was in like i said yeah. in, in, in november, november in november year, yeah. local show that yeah it was so 
It was cool. It was, you know, a couple of months, like I said, we, we got to, you know, say what's up to management and mm-hmm. just say what's up, man. Just, you know, follow up with each other. And But uh, it was cool. Yeah. It was fun. And, that uh, was fun. Definitely I'm fun looking fun forward time, to man. the next local one. Bro. <laughs> I know, right? I, I, I try, to, min- when the next one try to minimize the travels <laughs> nowadays, bro. <laughs> yeah, man. I, I, I like I like them when they're close now, I man. I know, right? Yeah. yeah. Cool, man. So I guess... Uh, like I said, if you guys want to also uh, look at the new products, I mean, make sure to check out the website, uh, www.bandamsoficial.com, right? Mm-hmm. Orale. Okay, pues, ahí la pones, Manny, la website right there. And uh, I guess that's a wrap for yeah, today, that's right? for today. Um, number four yeah, in the number books. Number four in the books. So number we'll four in the you, books. We'll see you in the next one. All right, man. Sounds good. <laughs> All right. All right, bro. Peace. Peace. Later.